<laughs> you announced your retirement. Right. January 2023. If I had told you a week later that a year from now you're going to be head coach of the PLL Water Dogs, what do you say? Obviously, I wouldn't have believed you because whether it was the Water Dogs specifically or the whole situation, you know, had gone through a little bit of a uh, of a process th that prior fall. And then I got a taste of what you guys do. That's right. It was really fun. It was really exciting. Yourself and Quint and Cotter treated me so well that I really, really liked that. And Seth called me up and he said, I, I think Andy Copeland's stepping down. Would you be interested? I said, well, I've been retired for seven months. Why not? <laughs> you, know? you look at some of your peers in, in the PLL, but who were some of the people that, that you reached out to you to, to talk about what, what this is really like. This is what they're, the picture they're painting me. What does reality kind of look like? When it became reality, what I told myself was, let's call each coach. Coach Holman and I go way back. I was one of 10 coaches at the, on the Hopkins staff in 85. And he was one of 10 coaches on the staff at 85. <laughs> and so I called each of the coaches in the PLL and they were fantastic. The best advice I got from all of them was from Coach Stagnita. He <laughs> said to me, just remember, we're all liars. It reminds me of the old Old days in college coaching, you personally win us a game against Maryland to get us to the Final Four. That was Coach Cottle's last game. I wish you could play for me now. My players say I've gotten soft. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I'll believe it when I see it this summer. Given all the success that you had over your legendary 40-year career at collegiate level, you know, so much of the college world adjusted to you, evolved to you. As you look at the PLL, you know, what adjustments do you envision having to make as you kind of now extrapolate your vision, your strategies, your philosophies at the pro level? The big thing that's going to change for me is, is, is the short shot clock and the mm -hmm. short field. We used to be able to run three or four different things on offense before we take the right shot. Wow, what a find! Just beautiful lacrosse. And Bill Tierney has his first win in the PLL. First one for pros. Congrats. Yeah. 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 What do you prefer? Do you like the building or do you like the maintaining, for well, lack of better words? Well, it's, it's a great question. What I like is practice. <laughs> you know, I have five days a week of practice. I've always hated games I, from day one, and I've always loved practice. 40 seconds to sit. Winding now. Shot coming in. There's the game. Prager from Boyle. Princeton does it again in overtime. When you win in sports at this level or coaching at this level, Winning is just a relief, but losing is death. Yeah. Losing's worse than death because you got to live with it. 40 years at the collegiate level, recruiting and coaching 18 to 22 year olds. <laughs> exactly. 18 to 19 version, I make a mistake in practice, I'm, I'm getting an earful. And Kieran McArdle, he's 31. He's got a wife, he's got a kid. He makes a mistake. What does he get? He's, he's the leader of the group, and uh, he could walk away tomorrow and have, a, have had a great career. Our mantra for the team is trust. Mm -hmm. I've got to be able to trust these guys. They've got to be able to trust me. As you yes. project yourself, you look at this, you know, is that is that the role that you see Michael Sowers playing with this team and, and the relationship of trust? I'm trying to get him to adjust his game a little bit because he's so smart. Yeah. He, he gets it. As I told Michael, I said, listen, I, I want you around for a long time, so I'm around for a long time, but uh, I will not risk your health for a lacrosse game. I've been telling people, you know, I'm in, in the middle of writing my book because I thought I was done with all this and I'm 170 pages in, that's the good news. The bad news is I'm up to 1987. <laughs> I'm wishing you the best of luck this year. Welcome to the league and yeah. I'm super excited to watch you uh, lead the Water Dogs.